Great design is something which has a longevity to it because there's an appreciation of what it is. I think that's a lot of great design, not only in architecture and product design. Well, the nice thing about doing products is, you know, I, I make a sketch, we draw it up, and in a few months, hopefully, we get a prototype. Uh, with architecture, it goes on for two years, three years, ten years. So, in a sense, this is instant gratification. And you see thousands and thousands of interpretations of uh, the same thing, done in different ways. Make it green, yellow, blue, it doesn't matter. Silver, out of paper, out of steel. There's, there's a choice with everything. It's hard for me to think of any aspect of design that's not totally democratic. There are interior designers who just focus on the interior. As an architect, you don't think about one without thinking about the other. The interior and the exterior uh, are somehow one thing. The enclosure and the organization of the building, in a sense, are uh, hand in hand. Uh, it's not one thing or another. Well, you can't do a good building without a good client. A good client is paramount. You never know in the beginning when you have a new client whether it's going to work out to be a good client or not, but you hope it will. It's not as though we say, here it is, this is it. We make lots of different studies, we talk about them, and we have an interchange of ideas. And oftentimes, you know, the first idea is not necessarily the best idea. You have to sort of work it through and think about not just what the client wants, but what the context is and what it can be. I'm very interested to see the outcome of uh, this design competition in our building down on Charles Street. It's the first time that I can recall this kind of event taking place, and I look forward to seeing the results.